This is a rant about open source and package managers. Before we get into this presentation, I have a quick plug and I'll be sure to include video chapters so that those of you who aren't interested can just skip through this part. I'm offering free coaching calls for whoever needs it. But I'm not offering coaching calls to anybody, obviously. I'm going to hop on a call if you need help in JavaScript development, specifics JavaScript libraries or frameworks, Flutter development, Node.js development, and I have a limited schedule, but I will try my best to help anyone who needs it. And obviously, I'm not going to solve your problems automatically, but I'll give you insight into your journey and into the problems that you need to solve and maybe I'll help them with you. With that said, why am I talking about this? Well, I had this course I was developing that was pretty complex, but had one main feature, handling user authentication via phone number using Flutter and Firebase. But just so you guys can get an idea of what, what it could have been, here are some screenshots. And it seems simple enough, right? But once I had finished and published my previous course and had been preparing to record the first video of this new course, I stumbled upon a problem. The problem being that this project relied heavily on this one package called phone number. This package was used to validate and parse phone numbers, obviously because I used them for authentication. And at the time of this recording, it has it is completely deprecated and discontinued and replaced by a similar package that attempts to solve the same problem. But you may ask, why can't you just rewrite the code to fit in with this new package? And you would be right. I should do that. But this is actually a small example of a much larger problem happening to not just people like you and me, but to corporations handling billions of dollars a year that happen to be developing software. I read these stories of tech giants needing to migrate off previously hot technologies. For example, Stripe, like uh, not too long ago, needed to migrate off a JavaScript library that allowed them to do type check and they wanted to migrate into TypeScript, but they migrated millions of JavaScript of millions of lines of JavaScript into TypeScript using a program, but most migrations aren't pretty like that. And the truth is, it's almost impossible to stay up to date with all these latest packages and frameworks, updating your project to work with these newer and improved packages that are fundamentally different. It requires a complete rewrite in many cases, which can cost hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to do. All of this to say, it's frustrating and cumbersome to manage and maintain projects long term with the advent of all these package managers and new open source projects that just get deprecated and abandoned after six months of development. Sometimes it's even shorter. And we're not even talking about the redundant packages like is number or is typed array. Like these are simple functions that you could develop in just a few minutes. In a few minutes, I know. I'm not trying to point fingers at the package maintainers, quite the opposite. I have immense respect for the Evan Hughes, the Rich Harris's, and other maintainers of packages that lay the that ultimately lay the foundation for awesome applications through their works. But that begs the question: if it isn't the maintainers' fault, then who's to blame? And honestly, I don't have an answer to that. I'm not here to solve the problem. Maybe I will in the future, but who knows? But what I do know is. I've been caught in the crossfires of this beast and it has hindered my production of content and maybe it has hindered my performance in YouTube, maybe in you guys getting value. And honestly, I don't know what to do about this. I hope it gets fixed somehow. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you could take this for what it is and be very wary of blindly using packages and honestly inspire you. And I honestly hope that I inspired you to build your own implementation of these useless packages so that your projects are more reliable and evergreen. See you in the next video.